Alright, what is up, worldwide family? Welcome back to the channel. Jimmy Flip and Dills, thank you so much for joining me. I should have known better, but uh, matter of fact, I did know better. Full transparency, I did know better, but I did it anyway. So, uh, and I'm going to tell you about it, so maybe you don't make the same potential mistake that I intentionally, potentially made. So, I knew better, but I did it anyway. I was told by the USPS worker at my local post office, upon going there one time, I had all of my packages in my tow, right? All of the, um, uh, what do you call it, sure post, you know, where UPS and FedEx are, are teaming up with the post office for the final mile, right? And, you, you know, you're... Your label is through FedEx or through UPS, uh, but it, it's, uh, what do you call it, UPS Ground Saver. They both say SurePost on my end on the label, so I think they're both SurePost. I've heard USPS call it that. Uh, nevertheless, the idea behind it is that the uh, first mile or, or the majority of the carry is done by the original carrier, whether that be UPS or FedEx, right? And then they hand it off in that town or that processing station. It runs ground advantage for that final mile, right? Well, I was told by my post office worker, I'm there with my entire tow. She said, I can take that and uh, pointed at the FedEx uh, you know, whatever, uh, economy ground, which is sure post, it has the ground advantage barcode on it. And I said, no, no, that's FedEx. She said, it has a USPS barcode on the bottom. I can take it. Said, well, hey, that is news to my ears. I had been turned down by my local, uh, you know, my route, my carrier, my post office lady that comes to my house and she's told me I can't take those, right? And, and I, I told the lady at the desk, I said, this isn't yours, it's FedEx. She said, if it has a ground advantage barcode, if it has a USPS barcode, then I can take it. And I said, well, if you can take FedEx, how about this? And I showed her the UPS ground saver. She said, yes, I can take that too. And I went, wow, like this is life changing. I don't have to go another, and I say life changing, you know, uh, facetiously, uh, but I don't have to go another six miles, 12 miles round trip down to the, the neighboring city uh, to drop these off. I can just start dropping them off with you. The only time I'd have to go down there is if it's straight uh, UPS or FedEx ground, right? Uh, I don't do any of the priority, but nevertheless, for the last three or four days, I felt like I've been kind of getting away with something. Every time I go in, I kind of shake one of them at her, and she waves it over, and she scans it. Now, in all fairness to the, the uh, when you run the UPS barcode, it shows that the item's not dropped off yet. But if you run the attached USPS barcode, it has accurate, up-to-date tracking. Matter of fact, one of the marketplaces is telling me I did a no-no that they can't validate my tracking. Uh, and as it rolls out and those packages get delivered, they're, ta they're, they're seeing the delivered mark uh, and taking that off of my invalid tracking and they're updating it in real time, so to speak. Uh, whether or not there may be a delay or not, I don't know. But I mean, in, in fairly real time, so no big deal on on my end, no harm, no foul, right? And and they are moving, uh, but on Pirate Ship, and for those that don't know, Pirate Ship is a, uh, I'm not getting endorsed, you know, there's no endorsement here, there's no link at the bottom, any of that, I'm not getting paid, uh, but they are a virtually free service that uh, gets their money from the carriers directly and gets you, you know, pretty well as far as I can tell, almost the best discounted rates other than, you know, say Amazon shipping or, you know, something like that. But I mean, you know, when it, when it comes to a lot of the big Pitney Bro, uh, Pitney, <laughs> Pitney Bros, uh, Pit, 
Bendy Bows and, and uh, you know, all of the other shipping that charges you a monthly fee and maybe a little bit less once you pay them 20 or $30 a month uh, for people that ship over a thousand packages a month or, or something, it, it may very well be beneficial. Uh, for me, I, I chose to, to, to use Pirate Ship and I got a message today saying, uh, UPS Ground Saver, and they don't control FedEx, but UPS Ground Saver packages must go to UPS. Carriers, don't drop them off at the post office. Don't even give them to the workers. They are throwing them away. And all of mine in full transparency are moving, and I check everyone the way it should be, but I got that barcode scanned, too. Uh, whereas I believe, in all honesty, uh, that there is a good potential for pirate ships claim to be accurate about packages getting thrown away that never had a scan. You know, when, when USPS scans their barcode, then, then to me they have a responsibility to carry it to the end, uh, especially since you said that. But ultimately what I'm telling you is if you're doing that, uh, be very careful with it and you're likely to lose your product and your shipping costs and everything else because your package is contracted to whether it be UPS or FedEx to them for the majority of the run and USPS is only the final mile on those packages. So enjoy the savings but apparently we can't abuse the post office, uh, like I was, uh, well, you know, she told me I could. I, I, it's not like I came up and tried to dump them, but I have been dumping them the last few days. So, uh, nevertheless, I will have to stop and get out of that habit, and uh, my valid tracking rate can go back up to where it is without having that final, having to wait for that final delivered, right? So... Uh, heads up to y'all. I hope that helps. Uh, it's not the normal video, but there you go. And stay tuned to your regular broadcast stations for more regular reports. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Cut. That is a wrap. Ah!